Sugars are really bad for your health. But what about those cravings? Well, we can substitute sugars with these artificial sweeteners, yeah? Oh really? But what about those calories? I am on a weight loss journey. Nothing to worry about. They are very minimal in calories and will help you in losing weight faster. And your sugar cravings will be satisfied too. If you are one of those thinking the same way, stop right away. Hi, I am Avanti Deshpande, a clinical nutritionist, author, speaker, entrepreneur and a fit mom. Welcome to my podcast, Eat Smart with Avanti. And in this series, which is known as Eat Smart Shorts, we will be discussing the latest health trends and news. Artificial sweeteners, simply called as non-nutritive sweeteners or non-sugar sweeteners, are all synthetic and natural occurring modified non-nutritive sweeteners as they are classified as sugar and becoming immensely popular nowadays, especially for the diet freaks and have occupied the market of around 500 crores or more. They are used in almost every sugar-free products these days, be it in hard candies, chewing gums, mints, ice cream, chocolate, cookies, beverages, diet coke and what not. They provide very minimum calories and are around 100 to 200 times sweeter than the normal sugar and are used in varying objectives. There are six types of these NSS, namely aspartame, saccharine, sucralose, neotame, acesulfame K and stevia, which have received grass, generally regarded as safe status. Instead of controlling their sugar cravings, people find it very easy to consume these thinking they are safe to consume. However, World Health Organization, which is WHO, recently revised the guidelines about artificial sweeteners and has warned people about their consumption, especially when they are consumed for a purpose of weight loss. The WHO Director for Nutrition and Food Safety, Francisco Branca, recently quoted that replacing Free sugars with NSS does not help with the weight control in the long term. People need to consider other ways to reduce the free sugar intakes such as consuming foods with naturally occurring sugars like fruit or unsweetened food and beverages. NSS are not essential dietary factors and have no nutritional value. People should reduce the sweetness of the diet altogether starting early in life to improve the health. However, these WHO recommendations are for all individuals except for those who have pre-existing diabetes. These recommendations also do not apply for personal care and hygiene products containing NSS. There are varied number of researches that positively correlate the consumption of NSS over a long period of time with the risk of cardiovascular diseases, which is CVDs, type 2 diabetes and some mental health disorders and mortality. Many people think they will be able to lose weight with these, but instead they interfere with the body's capacity to control the intake and thus lead to overeating and ultimately weight gain. Research carried out by Burke M. V. et al. found that daily intake of non-calorie sweeteners can trick the brain by encouraging sugar cravings and addiction. NSS has been shown to lower the serotonin levels, which is one of the neurotransmitters and also requires additional stimuli to obtain the same rewarding effect as compared to that of sugars, as quoted in a research by Domingos et al. Another research of 4000 people found that higher consumption of erythritol an artificial sweetener has elevated the risk of experiencing a major adverse cardiac event such as heart attack, stroke or even death. They further reveal that the erythritol may be activating the platelets and forming a clot easier. Preclinical studies confirmed ingestion of erythritol heightened blood clot formation. There are further pieces of evidence that artificial sweeteners also interfere with the gut microbiome composition. In a research that was done, it was found that there was dysbiosis seen in the individuals consuming these sweeteners and their gut microbiota composition 
was resembling that of the obese individuals further there was a correlation seen between the artificial sweeteners and insulin resistance mathur et al researched this effect and found that most people who consumed artificial sweeteners had higher insulin resistance as compared to those who did not consume it there is a strong need to put a strict warning signs on nutrition labeling about the substantial consumption of artificial sweeteners in food products and beverages kids also become addicted to these products which may hinder the growth and development they may increase the cravings leading to an increase in the menace of the childhood obesity seen in them therefore it is very important to limit the intake and if possible avoid them altogether in day to day diet hope you like today's episode if you would like to know anything about the latest trends in health and nutrition do write in to us are you following us on youtube do so so that you get to know the latest in health and nutrition do follow the podcast for many more coming up soon